It's either lotion or glitter. It's one of those things. Okay. Or both. Yeah, this sounds weird. The Church Kids Show. Hey, everyone, and welcome to our final episode talking all about courage. I have learned so much this month about how I am strong and brave, and God is with me in every step of my life. So good. I also learned that I don't like baby food. That was pretty gross. Nah, uh, same. The good news is this is our last Face Your Fears episode, so we are almost done doing things we don't really like. Thank goodness. But Charles, we aren't done yet. <laughs> well, that sounds terrifying. Woo! For today's challenge, we have both brought something that the other is very afraid of. I brought something that Charles is afraid of, and he brought something that I'm afraid of. You found the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> Uh, n no, no, I, I didn't. Oh, uh, Bigfoot? What? What are you talking about? Well, I'm not afraid of him. About? I mean, he's, I think he'd be kind of cool. Scar from The Lion King? Charles, you're afraid of Scar from the animated Lion King? No, I mean, 
Well, yeah. Well, I, I don't really like him. He's the worst. No, I did not bring any of those, but I will say I brought something way, way, way worse. Well, it's definitely not as bad as what I brought for you. So, great. What is gonna happen is uh, Charles is gonna give me his item and I have to put my hands on it and hold it and I have to say the memory verse three times before I can stop touching whatever it is. Then I'm gonna give Charles my item and he has to hold it and say the memory verse three times before he can let go. Ready? Are you yeah, ready? I'm ready. Okay, Charles. Am I starting? Yeah, you're starting. Okay, I have a friend I brought with me. And friend. His name is Cornelius. <gasps> oh my god. Cornelius the uh, corn snake. Say hi, Cornelius. He's saying so hi. Close. Huh? I wish you could feel my heart racing. Hold on. Hold I think he's on, trying to go up my on. sleeve. I have to get the memory verse up so I can be ready. <laughs> he's like a he's like a muscle. Do you have muscles, Tracy? Lord be with me in this. Oh, don't wrap yourself. Is it? Ready? No. Ready? Mm-mm. -mm. Just put Just your hand up. Just let me look first. Don't know. Okay. You're not going up my sleeve, buddy. Up here. <laughs> no! Oh, sorry. Shh, shh. Okay. He's got sensitive ears. Oh. Oh. My hands are shaking. Why? Okay, say the, oh, say the memory verse. Say the memory verse. I'm frozen. Say the memory verse. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I'm the Lord your God. I'll be with you wherever you go. <laughs> Next. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I'm the Lord your God. I'm crying. <laughs> we'll be with you wherever you go. One more time. He's moving. He's One more moving. time. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. He's smelling. <laughs> Do not lose hope. I'm the Lord your God. I'll be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Take it, 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 take it. I feel like it's gonna. Here you go. Okay. Cornelius, we're not gonna bother you anymore. You can go back home. Literally my hands, my hands are shaking. That was horrible, Charles. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> okay, Charles. What is mine? So if there's one thing I know about you, <laughs> I know that you have a deep, deep rooted, I'm not even sure it's a fear. Probably not. More than it is. Disgust? Like a deep loathing for this item. <laughs> So, what you have to do is submerse your hands in a bowl full of very fine, almost powder, extremely sticky glitter, and read our memory verse three times. This is irresponsible to the environment. That's all I have to say. Beautiful bowl of beautiful glitter. Okay, did you both know, hands, both hands in Charles is what you, you know get for bringing goes, me a snake, okay? Did you know this goes into our air, and but it doesn't like yeah. decompose? It's probably gonna soak into your skin and go into your bloodstream and you'll have glitter in you for the rest of your entire life. Okay, where's what, Okay, I, your both I, hands I have, have to be deeply submerged. Deeply. <laughs> both hands. Hands, not hands. Hands. Uh, I held a live snake. You can do this. <laughs> Put go like this, maybe. Feels like sand. Are you gonna slice my wrist with the? I'm ready. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is not a fear. It's more that I just hate the concept of glitter. <laughs> Our memory verse is: Be strong and brave. Don't be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1:9. One, one more time. No, two more times. Two more times. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. Yes, I'm memorizing it, church kids. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Okay, go ahead and remove your hands. Show everyone how beautiful they look. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get on the table. Just don't touch me. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Really great. That was absolutely terrifying. I'm still shaking. Let me tell you, having courage is not easy. I am never holding a snake ever again. Absolutely not. Well, you, just touched, your you just touched your face ah! after holding the snake. Is that bad? Like, it, <laughs> like a disease? No, I'm just saying that the snake is. Uh, okay. 
Well, at least you don't look like a sparkly unicorn mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I hope yeah, this comes off. Yeah, that's going to be on you for a very long time. All well, right. I'm going to watch well, it. Well, the good news is now you each get to go hold a snake in the game you're playing. <laughs> nice. I'm kidding, but it'll be fun. Oh. What's up, church kids? And it is game time, and the game we're about to play is called Beanbag Head. So, I need two contestants to come up, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna have a beanbag. They're gonna stick it on their head. Now, there are two buckets on the ground. You have to start from one bucket, and you have to make your way to the other bucket. Only using your head, you have to drop this beanbag in the bucket. If you drop it, you have to start all over. You can waddle, walk, sprint, fast walk, whatever you need to do to get this beanbag to those buckets. The first person to get five beanbags in their bucket wins the game. The game begins in three, two, one. Yeah, Joshua 1 9. I said Joshua 1 9. Joshua 1 9 says, Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not do so. I'm the Lord your God. I'll be with you wherever you go. Change my heart, no, he's not done. Facing fears, no, I won't run. Give me that strength, give me that bravery. Give me that hope that tastes all savory. I know you'll be with me in the morning, in the night, in the sun, or the rain when the cold starts to bite. I can trust in your goodness, even in the pain. When life is tough, I speak your name. Jesus, hold me through the rough. I want your love, yeah, I can't get enough. When I'm weak, you make me strong, strong, stronger than they ever seen. He died so we could be long. be long. Let's give it up for the king. Come on, say, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose so by the Lord your God. I'll be with you wherever you go. You go, you go, you go, you go. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose so by the Lord your God. I'll be with you wherever you go. You go, you go, you go, you go. Joshua 1 9. Joshua 1 9 says, Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you wherever you go. Honestly, while I was holding that snake, it did not feel like the Lord was with me because I was terrified. Well, Tracy, that's a great point. Sometimes having courage can mean losing friends and it can feel really lonely. It's hard to know that God is with you, but he always is, no matter how you feel. It is time to jump into our final lesson today. So, are you guys ready? Let's do it! Woo! Mike, what are you doing? I'm watching this strange little bug fly through the air. Why? 
Well, do you ever wonder what he's thinking in his little bug brain? Not really. Is he worried about his next little bug meal? Finding a bug wife, settling down, having a little bug family? Or is he confused by a giant creature that's staring at him fly around all day? I didn't think of that. Hey, I'm your friend, don't worry. Where'd he go? Ow! Aw, now I have to have a little bug funeral. My name is Mike, and this is the time the what ifs took over. Does that bug bite still hurt, Mike? <sighs> it just itches like crazy. Oh, new mail. I'll see what we got. What does it say? My name is Benny. All my friends from school are getting sick with the flu. I feel fine, but what if I get sick too? I don't even want to go outside, I'm so worried. Help me connect HQ. Oh, too worried to go outside? That's, that's no good. Hello? Hi, I don't think we've met before. I've never been to Connect HQ before. My name's Fern. I was hoping someone could help me. Oh, absolutely. My name is Mike and this is Harper. How can we help you? Well, at school yesterday, we took this really big test. I won't know my score until next week and I'm really worried that I didn't pass it. Well, did you study? I studied every night, but what if it wasn't enough? What if I didn't pass? I'm getting a headache, I'm so worried. Another worried person. Maybe we can help Benny and Fern at the same time. That's a great idea, Harper. Worrying just makes us miserable. Instead, we need to say, I trust God instead of worrying. I trust God instead of worrying. Exactly. Worrying's not gonna make your test score better or keep the flu away from you. Hey, hey Maurice. Maurice. <coughs> hey, guys. Maurice, this is Fern. You should get that cough looked at. I think dust just got stirred up when you came down. I heard you guys say something about worry. I know the perfect skit vision verse link for that. That's awesome, let's see it. Well, I can also help with that flu problem. I found this great website, symptomtracker.doom.gloom. Symptomtracker.doom.gloom? What is it? Well, what you do is you put in your symptoms here and it tells you what your condition is, see? Uh, I don't think that's what we need right now. Or you can type in the condition here, see, flu. And that'll tell you what symptoms to look out for. That way we can help Benny know what he's looking for. Hmm. Uh, here we go. Coughing, headache. She was just coughing. And earlier she said she had a headache. The coughing was from the dust and the headache was from the worrying. But what if it's more than that? What if you're getting the flu? I am not getting sick. I am not getting sick. But what if you are? Do you want me to get sick too? No, I don't want that. Are you chewing gum? It smells really good. Oh, I love this gum. I love the red color and how soft it is. Wait, did you say you can smell my gum? If smells can get in, then germs can get out. Maurice, you scared me, I swallowed my gum. Well, this says that soft red gums could lead to displaced dental dysphoria. Different kind of gum, Maurice. I don't have displaced dental dysphoria, but what if you do? I don't want that. Ooh. Uh, how often do you swallow your gum? The symptom tracker says that that could lead to borderline waistline misalignment. You two are not sick. Not yet, but what if we get sick? All this worrying is making you too miserable, and it's keeping us from getting any work done. And worst of all, it's making me be the voice of reason. Maybe... This Bible link I found for Benny will help you too as well. One day, Jesus noticed a crowd was beginning to follow him. So he went up to a mountainside to teach them. And this is what Jesus said to them. It is pointless to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or clothes, your life is worth more than any of that. Look at the birds of the sky. They don't plant or harvest or store food away because your heavenly Father takes care of them. And aren't you more valuable to Him than they are? Could worrying add a single moment to your life? And don't worry about what your clothes look like. Look at the lilies of the field and see how they grow. They don't work to make their clothing, and yet they are beautiful. And if God cares so much for the lilies that only last for a little while, why wouldn't He care for you? You don't need to ask the question, what if? Or worry about things like, what will we drink? Or eat? Or wear? Your Heavenly Father knows all your needs before even you do. Don't worry about tomorrow. 
because that will just bring more worry. Choose to live for God and He will always take care of you. Nothing is too small or too big for God. Worry is worth nothing. God's got this. I've never thought of that before. Birds and plants don't ever worry and God takes care of them. If He wants to take care of them, imagine how much more He wants to take care of us. See, we don't have to try to control every situation with our worry. God is in control. He knows what's best for us. So we should just put our trust in Him. The symptom tracker has done it again. Girls, run, save yourselves. Now, it took a little bit of time, but the symptom tracker was finally able to determine why you're scratching so bad. I just got a bug bite earlier. That's all that is. Not according to this. The symptom tracker says that with the scratching and the redness and the flaky skin, you have cedar rust. Cedar, what? I do not have cedar rust. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of it. Well, that's the amazing part. It's a disease that only affects trees. You're the first human to ever get it. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Okay. It says here that we can prevent the disease from spreading if we cut off the affected limbs. Whoa, you are not cutting off my arm and I do not have cedar rust. But what if you do? Hey, everyone. Hey, Maurice. Hey, Maurice. Does anybody have the verse link for our transmission to Benny? Maurice, didn't you say that you had the skit vision video earlier? That's right. I got so wrapped up with symptomtracker.doom.gloom, I forgot about it. Here, I'll pull it up right now and put it on the big screen. What a beautiful day to get out on the lake. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh no. It's okay, like a hundred feet from shore. But without that water, all we have left is this water bottle, and this water bottle. And if we drink these, we'll only have the gallon jug of water left in the backpack. Rodney, we're not gonna need that much water. I can literally see my car over there. But what if we get stuck in the water? What if an eagle swoops down and steals our oars? Why would an eagle do that? Okay, no, even if for some strange reason an eagle takes our oars, we use our hands to paddle back or we'll just swim to shore. What if the lake is full of piranha and they swim up to the surface and they eat our hands? <laughs> there are no piranha in this lake. What if the park rangers decide to empty the lake and we get stuck on the riverbed? We can't walk all that way. Why would they drain the lake? I don't know, probably because of the piranha. <laughs> Rodney, it sounds like you've got a lot of what ifs. Well, I've got a what if for you. What if you give your worries to God like it says in the Bible? It says that in the Bible? Yes. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Say it with me. 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God. Give all your worries and cares to God. For He cares about you. For He cares about you. Wow. <sighs> that feels amazing, giving all my worries over to God. God loves us. We can go to Him with anything. Does that make you feel a little less what ify? Yeah, it does. How do you feel? Um, a little thirsty. Can I have one of your waters? If you have some to spare. <laughs> all this worrying has made us all look silly. We drove ourselves crazy worrying about all the bad things that probably won't even happen. We forgot about how much God cares for us. Being able to say, I trust God instead of worrying, not only makes us feel better, but also brings us closer to Him. I'm sorry, guys. I was so obsessed with my symptom tracker, I didn't see what effect it was having on you. We forgive you, Maurice, but maybe it's time you take that app off of your tablet. First, I forgot the verse, and then I didn't notice what was going on around me. This says that forgetfulness and failure to notice details may be signs of neural noggin syndrome. Where's that prospector's brain? Maurice, do you need to watch the Skit Vision video again? Mike here, and thank you for your question, Benny, and sorry to hear all your friends are getting the flu, but don't worry. It's pointless to worry about a situation you have no power to change. But you're probably wondering, how do I stop worrying? The Bible says we can take all our worries and hand them over to God. Like this, 1 Peter 5, 7. 
Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. If you're worried about catching the flu or how you did it on a test or making new friends, tell God all about it. He'll take care of the worry because He loves you. Jesus reminds us that God takes care of the birds and the plants. He values you so much more than those birds, so you can be sure He will take care of you too. There's no need to worry. One sure way to know that you are worrying is when you start asking those what if questions in your heart and mind. Or when you feel like something bad is going to happen, even when everything's okay. God is in control. And worry comes when I try to control things that I need to turn over to God. Everything works better and I feel better when I trust God instead of worrying. I hope that helps, Benny. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Man, what a fun month this has been. Except for earlier when I held the snake. That was not fun. I thought it was great. Okay. A blast. Well, raise your hand if you know a little bit more about courage now that we've been talking about it these last few weeks. Anyone? I know, I know. Anyone? Remember, you are strong and brave, and Jesus is with you wherever you go. You have courage. So stand up for your faith, live like Jesus, and be who he is calling you to be. See you next week, and don't forget, it's a great day to, to be a church, church kid! Oh! oh my gosh, what is this on the table?